Check one, two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of JC3D. Today is Wednesday, June 21st. We're looking at 8.07 a.m. So we've got a request here from Mark up in Canada to make this tennis racket. I think he's working on this part right down here, but... Um, so I could start with that, I guess, for starters. Let's see, so... Um, there's a couple more angles on the internet of this thing, and it's... It's kind of dipped in on the inside. You can't really see it where these things tie in. So it's almost like there's two tubes that go around, but anyway, let's see. For right now, I'm just going to show you how I would do this part right here. So I'd go like this. Uh, one thing that helps actually is if you line up the guide. So say like, look at my uh, center spaces right here. And if this is my focal point, I want to move it over. So just go like this, configure. Click on the back tab, and you're going to see this ability to offset. So I'm just going to move over here on the X like this. Kind of using that box I made to see when it's kind of lined up. You can take this and shrink it down a little if you wanted to. Oops. Scale tool. Like that. Get down here, maybe. And I'm just trying to see if it's centered. Looks like it wants to go over a little bit more. Boom, oh, whoops, the other way. Okay. Looks pretty good. Now back into that spline tool right there. And uh, let's see. So this will probably go and be connected to the whole thing, but I'm just gonna do that, connect it after later. Looking for the center point here, this tube. Boom. Like that. If you look close, it's linear. You could turn off this um, little viewport. So these are just the straightest line. You can go right there, like the speed of light. Now you go down here and go B spline, they're going to be curved. And a nice interpolation like that. It looks more like the object. And then we're going to want to go and make a circle and then a sweep. That under. I always do it like that and then I can see it and I just scale down the circle. So might taper. Now if it does taper, you can do this. See that? But the way I drew the spline, I started up here. So if you select all your points like this, you can go up to spline segments. Uh, point order, order, reverse sequence. So it's spline, point order, reverse sequence. And then this is the, the ending, and that's the one that's going to taper. Do, 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 do. We'll go with that. Alrighty, now, what you'll do, I'm going to throw that underneath the symmetry tool. Right there. Now, since I'm working off this center point, it's going to do a good job mirroring over. Happen to be the right one, the X plane. Okay. Now, see this little blob right here? That might come together if I put it into a volume builder. Check that out real quick. Be a good idea to save my scene here. So, do, do, do. Now, <coughs> excuse me. That's one. Boom. Yeah, kind of, kind of came down a bit, a little bit there. Let's see. You always got to take this voxel size, <clears throat> turn it down. Excuse me, get over a little bit of some kind of a something I had. So you go like this, like that. Now, let's see. Um, I want to go a little bit more than that, but I was just thinking at the same time, maybe I want to add a shape into here. So let's add one. So I click here, here. That was a spline I'm making.
close this one right there. And I'm just going to extrude that. Turn this off. You don't want to look at that plane right there if that's distracting. And the work plane, sometimes these are distracting in the world axes. And then that horizon line back there. Turn all that off if you want to. And this guy here. Let's change how thick he is. Have a little bit of thickness. Let's try point 0.1. And then I'm just going to move this spline like this. My little cursor in here like this, and then you can just go up like that. Actually, I think I might want to go outside this a little. We'll go out to here. There. Push that over some more. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay. There, I'll add that to the volume builder. Boom. There we go. Now I can smooth all this out a little smoother. Maybe turn it down to 50%. Yeah, looks pretty cool. And let's just save this scene, save incremental. And then I'm just what I'm going to do is. Uh, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. Like that. Go down to my configure tab, grab that off my desktop. And then scale this down a little bit. Scales down here. You can do that same trick where you do this. I'm just going to try to line it up with this. Translator tool. Um, I must be way off here. Let's see. Scale down some more. All right. Oh, no, I got to scale up. Mm, 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 mm. Right about this time, people. All right. All right. So let's see. I'm going to take a circle Come up here. Let's current state that to an object so I can scale it with this tool. Translate it, try to hit that loop up there. I'll bring these on here. Okay. And then we'll add a circle and another um, sweep. Let's get the circle to go down. Try to size of it looks pretty good but now here's the thing i want to go in here take this circle and current say it to an object and then look at it from this view here and make sure that uh this is working right yeah, that's it take it a little thinner And then take this whole thing, move it this way. And then take this symmetry tool, drop that underneath that. And then, uh, just trying to find the plane here. There we go. There we go. A little thing there. Okay. Shut this off. Now, this doesn't have the best subdivision to it, but we'll see what happens. Let's just dump it in there. 
make so when you when you add to a volume builder up here in your object manager the whatever you want to call it the hierarchy who's on top from the bottom to the top it's not consistent with what's down in your attribute manager where you have a sub object manager so object manager up here click your volume builder your attribute manager shows another object manager that object manager does not match this one because uh, you have the freedom to move it around which is kind of cool you can even make instances of these and have as many as you want interacting with each other uh, let's see that might have really sort of blurred it right out so let's see i want to try something with this where i uh smooth it first with this where is it um subdivision surface drag that down there throw that underneath that I'll probably mess that order up again, defaulted to put it to the top. But it looks pretty, pretty good right there. You know, actually, if I just turn my voxels down, maybe didn't have this part under the smoother. Let's see. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Doesn't look too great right there. So I think we might be able to work with this one, though. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Let's try to get rid of that tip there. There we go. Okay. Now I noticed there was this. Uh, don't forget to save your scene there. There's this little guy right here. Oh, I like that guy. So maybe I could just copy him and. <laughs> Throw that in there like that. And then we would just move some of these around. This might go a little bit better if I hit linear, but whatever, we'll just go like this and tuck them in there. Yeah, it's definitely popping out there. It's kind of, oh, you know what? Maybe it's just because it's not in the, um, the volume builder yet. We have a symmetry, you want to use <clears throat> two things underneath it. You got to take the object there and go option G, make a group. Then you've got this null. Underneath the null, you can put as many objects as you want. But if you don't have that and you put a bunch of objects, it won't work. Okay. Oh, it was tapered and got smaller up there. So let's go 0.8 and then we'll move it in. Mm -hmm. 0.55 Okay Mm-hmm <laughs> Okay, so we got this handle thing. The handle thing. Let's see if this works. This could be a uh, epic failure, but let's just go. I don't know. I'm going to take this and zero this out. So it's <clears throat> at the center because I drew it off the center. But now it lives down here at the center of the universe, right? And then I'm going to take a, uh, again, this might be a little crash and burn here, but I'm just going to try it out. Helix. Um, 90. It's hard to see in there, but I was just holding shift to get to 90. Now this spins around how many times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's go, let's go 10, 10 spins. End angle, that's two, 360 times two. So 360 times 10. And then 
you know, you could fiddle fart around with these and get the top angle and the bottom angle, or you could just go like this. You just scale it really quick and get the diameter. Like that. And uh, move this to here. Okay, so now we're going to go with height. I want to overshoot it because I know I did a couple extra. Thinking it's better to have a little more than not enough. So I'm going to go... And it's looking close enough for government work, depending on the government. But I'm here in America. That's a joke. All right, now I'm going to go here. I'll just move it down one maybe so it's like that. Okay, so now it's overshooting and undershooting, right? Now let's see if this works. I'm going to take this sweep tool. You put the, the walls on top and the tunnel on the bottom, if that makes any sense. Like the if you're looking down on a map, the road. All right, like this, boom. Wow, made some really cool looking art though. But, um, whew, not exactly what I was hoping for here. Let's see. <laughs> now that's not so bad. The only thing I really need to do here, I believe, is just rotate this thing around. I might have what I want. So I'm in point mode. I'm holding shift and I get to 180. There we go. Voila. All right, that looks decent. Okay, so now what I'll do is um, hide this. Well, you know what I like to do sometimes? Is select everything, control G, and then just hide it. Then I can kind of get a look at my guide. Let's see, so. It's definitely got this, um... oh, you know what, too? There's one, two, three. See, there's six sides, and there's eight sides. I guess, what would that be? Hmm, one, two, three. I'm gonna guess that it's one, two, three, eight sides. So let's see. Just bring this sweep back in for a second because it's very smooth going around, but I believe I might be able to adjust this helix. You see here where it says, um, subdivision, is that it? Oh boy, does that look horrible though. Um, intermediate points, uniform, none. Yeah, it doesn't really do it in a consistent manner. It's close to what I want, but not really. Looks cool though. Let's see. The number is eight here. So I did zero. Okay, so that must be. Hmm. Bear with me here. Just trying to get this to go for a full 360 here to just eight sort of linear things there. Let's see. But it's tricky because it's going around this spiral. Uh, is it the sweep that I might do that with? No. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Is there a different way I might be able to do it? It's pretty dense. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I was originally thinking that I might be able to do this in a different way, but I guess not. Um, well, let's go back to this guy. This seemed to be something that was sort of working. So this number would want to be eight, right? Oh, no, maybe not.
Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, this does seem to be well. Let's see. I think what I'll do is I'll just wait on that one for a minute. We'll let my subconscious percolate on that while I uh, do a couple of other little things here. So I do need to make this bottom piece. Um, I think I'll make him out of this uh, cylinder. Boom. Now in here, it'll go a little more like I'm hoping, eight different subdivisions. Perhaps rotate this a little bit like this. 35. 45. All right, it was two two point five. Now let's see here. Mm -hmm. The current state this to an object, and then grab these points right here, and scale them out. But I don't want to scale up in Y. Whoops. So I'll just turn Y off. Push them out like that. For that one, and then maybe I'll just copy this to make this top piece. Hmm. It does seem to get a little smaller as it goes to the top. Okay. I would think it'd be the same size, but maybe it does get a little bit smaller as it goes up. Um. Okay, what else needs to be done? All these lines right here and these little doodads. So, these are just little cylinders like this, but... If I go around and I make a spline and put a dot where each one of these is, or if I just do half a thing and then mirror it, um, I should be able to get a cylinder to go right there. So let's do that. So I'm just going to go here and go. Put them right here on the edge. Oh, look at that. There's a little dip right there. I didn't notice that. Since I have a volume builder, I can probably just put a spline right there and hit the subtract button and it'll work. You can actually subtract space with, with splines. I think I can get away with doing half of these and then mirroring them over. So let's see. The start to forget the gun right here where it touches the metal. <laughs> okay. We'll call this halfway there. Escape. All right. Now I think I can take a tube and a cloner. And then this cloner, instead of being a grid, make it object. Throw the spline into there. 
if you want, you can group all this so you remember it. Just remember they're all connected. Sometimes a spline floating out there, you don't know what it is. You might delete it and it would screw it up. So we're going here and say distribution even, I think, or vertex. Okay. Now you want to make this a little smaller. Like so. And then you see they're all pointing the, the wrong way, so you want to go in here and fiddle around with however the heck that's working. So let's see, they're aligned. Distribution vertex. Line clone. If I turn that off. If I turn that off. Meh. One thing you know what I do sometimes, to be honest with you, because it's kind of confusing to kind of figure out, like, how can I do get this little guy to do what I want to do with these tools? You just take this thing and group it. The, the axis here is in the exact same Cartesian space as this guy. But I can now go in here and fiddle fart around with these values, like, say, 90 degrees there. They got to be in object mode. That's one thing to remember. 90 degrees doesn't do anything. 90 degrees sort of did something. 90 degrees did something. Okay, but that one looks screwed up. Um, but it seems like the only one that looks screwed up. So, I guess it's not that bad. Oh, there's another one that's screwed up. But I think I'll take it. Unless I can turn this to linear. Would that help? Yep, that helped. Now, I can mirror this little setup right here. Symmetry tool. Boom. And now, theoretically, we've got this on both sides. You can turn these off right there. That's a little distracting. Okay, so now, it just looks like my, my actual little tennis record doesn't line up perfectly with the guide. Um... You have to be careful because guides are sometimes distorted by a camera lens because the camera lens is curved, trying to emulate an image that our curved eye kind of perceives, which is kind of weird. But um, so you could probably fix this a couple of ways. I'm just going to go in here and fudge it where I kind of go like this. Well, it looks like it's pretty hard to fudge it, so. Let me try to fudge it a different way. I'll go down to this guy. Mm -mm -mm. See, I'm just going to find what's making this up right here. Copy this spline right there. And then I'll make that spline a little bit smaller. Globally, so I want to put that Y back on like that. I'm just going to go in like that. That's going to be closer to the object, I think. Then, I'll go down here and go to this. Oh, you know what, though? That's not going to work. Shoot. Because I did these all point by point. So, take that back. Jack. We'll just have to go and manually uh, try to adjust this guy. So, let's see. These points here. It's going a little bit slow because it's got that volume measure going. Okay. Do, 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 do. You're waiting for it. Close enough for government work. That might be kind of funky there. I'm not quite sure, but. Um, I had the time of my life. Guess maybe I want to move this down a little bit.
And I owe it all to you, you, you. Oh, what a pain right in their butt, huh? These are the joys of the 3D right here, let me tell you. So what can I do to get around this? Maybe just select these guys here. Move them over a little. R really cheating bad on this, but what are you going to do, right? People will be here forever. There we go. Spot. Check them here. You back. Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> okay. That's probably completely foobard. Let's put some of these lines in. Now these might be a right pain in the butt because if you think about it, they gotta kinda like weave in and out of each other. So we could just completely fudge that, I think. But I would need a point where that point is, I guess, right? So I'm just gonna think about that as I'm as I'm clicking this away. I'll make sure I put a point here and a point here. That point can go back, this one can go forward. Okay. I think it's all I have to do is just put a point wherever I see a Interference right there. So. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Just trying to think if it'd be easier to follow this guide than match it to this. Now I'll try just to go below it a little bit. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, All right, well, that went great. I'd say it's probably supposed to be straight, so I'm just gonna go like this, and then we'll get it right about where the dots are. Okay, copy paste that one. Oh, and you know what would have been wise probably if I would have just done the biggest spot, I think. Let's just kill this guy. I'm just gonna add on to this guy. Back into my tool here. Click that, activates it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right here. One to go. Escape. Right here. Click this and drag. You can click and drag and move a point. Boom and boom. Selecting them. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> tricky, tricky. Okay, boom. Wait, wait, that didn't work. Boom. Oh. So, like that. And then, copy this one. Paste it. Like that. Na, 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 na. Mm. Okay. 
Uh, take a little circle. Sweep. Let me get this right. Boom. Let's just copy that so I got the same setup and then get rid of the spline like that. These splines probably want to be linear. I don't know, linear. Yeah. I could try B spline. Yeah. Still thinking, folks. Okay, I'll try another approach here for this. Oops. Do 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 do. I'm gonna go in here and make a linear one. Just go from here to here. Oops.
Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> Came to me in a dream. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Holy shnikes. Okay. These ones seem kind of close together with whatever. Oh, yeah, remember I saw that um, little line that was cut out right there? Watch this. You go into your volume builder. Now, this is the guy that was making that. I'm going to copy and paste it. I'll show you those points here. Just pull them out like this. Now, if you put a spline like this right there, you can get it to put a cut in. Drag and drop it into there. And then say subtract. You see, it'll put a cool little cut right there like that. And then I could either mirror that back there to get the one back here, or I could just take the thing and move it like this. And do the same thing, put it down there. Whoops. Actually, that, that's a cool way to do it. Then I'd have to reestablish the hierarchy if I just made it a child of that guy. It's cutting out on both sides. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so this guy here, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I feel like these guys could use a little beveling. Put them, group them together and put a little bevel, throw it in here. Clean them up a little bit, maybe. Oh, this guy just looks a little funky right there. Yeah, it's a little better. Now, if I polygon reduce this guy, would it come? Would it work? I don't know. I'm gonna try it. Remesh. Boom. Let's take it down to like 5%. It's probably not going to work, but worth the shot. I'll definitely get it down so that the points might be more manageable for me to try to force it into some kind of a shape. Mm hmm. Mm hmm.
<laughs> Don't really know if it's helping me any really to be honest with you, but there are these deformers you can put on things. Um FFD, but I'm not exactly sure as though that would work perfectly. Let's just get that out of there for now. Save my scene here. Bob, 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 bob. I'll hide everything but this. This. So let's see, I need this to be eight at the bottom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, what I kept thinking was to do this, which is probably not gonna work, so I'm just gonna try to get it out of my head. So I stop thinking about it. Take this guy and then you manipulate it. Where? Here. Copy paste. All right. And then you make sure your object is inside this. So I'll go a little bit bigger. Okay, now if I'm looking at this from the top view. Okay, group these two. Groupies, boom. This one, this one, this one, and this one. I know those gotta go in. I don't wanna do Y. I wanna be in scale too, I always do that. Scale mode. It does that, but it doesn't do this. So it's almost like you want the grid to be more, but oh, but it's going to get a lot of control, I think. Right? Right? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Um. Man, I really hate to do this, but I think we gotta go up to eight. Hmm. All right. Ah, it's like when the Borg come in on the Starship Enterprise. Oh, resistance is futile. Is this even doing anything? I don't even know. Do, 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 do. No. It doesn't seem to be working. Let's try something. 
You know that might work. You know what? I think I might buy that. Turn all this back on. Wow, it got a lot smaller though, didn't it? Not too blurry. Um. Okay. I'm just gonna save this. Save incremental. Take this entire thing, connect objects, select children, boom. Okay, I'm going to boolean this out right here. Just grab these guys, make them one object. Grab this bully tool. Boom, boom, boom. Switch the order. Boom. Hide this guy. Boom. Take a look against the guide here. See where we're at. Where are your points? Maybe it just flares out a little bit at the bottom too. At any rate, let's see. This little guy here. Oh. I'd say that's looking decent. You know, you're going to want to go in here and move these around, do some more stuff on that. And then you might want to put a couple of connectors here, every other one, to kind of give that illusion that they're all set up. But I think that's a pretty good place to call it for today. Thank you very much for watching the show and I look forward to uh, doing the next one. All right, take care.